Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Dan, the T-shirt guy, and welcome to the Never Show. Well, you never know what I'm going to do next. And yes, it's Wednesday. Well, technically, when I'm recording this, it is Wednesday. Uh, we're missing on Wednesday because of uh, technical issues that we had elec with electronics. <laughs> yeah, who said being a YouTuber was easy? Uh, I'd like to punch him in the face. So, yes, it's Wednesday, and that means we review the movies. So, without further ado, we review Divergent Allegiant. Okay, uh, let's do all the boring stuff first before I get into it. Uh, Runtime was two hours and one minute. Give me a break. Couldn't you shave off a minute at two hours? It was a long movie to watch, I have to admit. Uh, I didn't ha I had a little bit of a hard time following it, but we'll get into that. Uh, director was Robert Sh Sherwecki. Sherwenki. Sherwenki. Uh, music was composed by Joseph Tr Trampese. What music? I really wasn't. There wasn't anything that was, you know either memorable nor uh what do you call it you know mind-blowing you know you know how you go out of a theater and you're singing the song um let me see what was the one that i was really thinking about uh uh the punisher movie they had a song in the punisher movie that i it's like every time i hear that it's like just a whole kick up song uh screenplay by noah op noah oppen him stefan chikosby Bill College and Adam Cooper. Shane Woodley is Tris. Theo James is four. Naomi Watts is Evelyn. A lot of people here with only first names. Octavia Spencer as Joanna Rives, which I don't even she 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 was a very memorable. Jeff Daniels is David. Jeff Daniels uh, throughout this movie has been a t throughout through the the series has been the bane of everybody. Somebody, if he is not shot in the next movie, I don't know why. Zoe Kravitz, any relation to Lenny Kravitz? I don't know. Uh, as Christina. Ensign Joseph as Caleb. Uh, I have to look at his face really quick because I don't recognize him. Okay, uh, yeah, Trista's brother. Sorry about that. Sometimes I have to look things. look at things. Uh, Miles Teller is Peter. Uh, Kevin Linesdale as uh, Uriah. I think, yeah, that's Uriah. I could have sworn he got shot in the last movie, but I don't know. There's a lot of crossover cast that made it very confusing. Uh, Daniel Day Kim as Jack Kang. Maggie Q as Tori. Bill... Shigard as Matthew, Johnny Winston as Edgar. And let me see, is this the is this the guy? What? Yeah, I I think he was the guy who's the, the English guy who runs around and is like shooting people in the back of the head through half the movie. Nadia Hicker as Nita, and Andy Bean as Ramit. Production companies were Lionsgate, Red Wagon Entertainment, and Summit Entertainment for this one. Summit Entertainment was our U.S. theatrical distributor. Um, I had to do a lot of work on this one. That's why I'm late. Uh, I just worked really hard to try to understand the Divergent series because I barely watched the first movie. I skipped the second movie, which I then bashed CinemaSins for sinning hammocks in that movie totally 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 good with anybody using hammocks sorry jeremy uh that said um there's a lot of things that i didn't like a lot of little technical things they're pretty good with the technical stuff on this one unlike the uh, the first two movies but you know uh there was a lot of battlefield romance this is a very chick flicky movie now you know to quote deadpool didn't this guy just shish kebab somebody? I thought you, my boyfriend said this was a hero. But I I don't like battlefield romance. Don't give me the the old 
the old snog in the middle of, you know, death from above and all around me thing. You know, it's kind of one of those things that you don't want to ha- that you, you're you can tell it's a chick flick when this happens. Um, Jeff Daniels was annoying as always. I don't know why. He has this face that you don't like. And it, he he's always cre- doing something creepy. He used to be um, very pleasant. Now he's just creepy as he gets older and older and older and older and older. I don't know why. Uh, other than some change of characters, and I don't know why they recycle characters, because I thought certain people died in certain movies, but yet they're back in this one as a different character or something. Makes me very confused. I don't know if they didn't shoot him or they did. Um, I feel like I should have read more of the books on this one. I feel like, unlike the Hunger Games, you know, uh, where they kept the cast pretty solid, I've noticed this, that they recycle people into different things, and I didn't like that because it, when I watched the first movie, they had, you know, Shane Woodley uh, as Tris, and then, you know, they kept throwing me new cast members that I thought I've seen in the other movies before, but now they're back doing something else. Or as a different character, which makes me confused. It, that that does confuse you when you're trying to watch a movie. I don't see this as a future DVD buy. Uh, I don't see this as a future theater rewatch. I see this as another TV watch, just because um, you know epic movies like this end up on FX and st- and other channels or something like that to being very popular on Redbox, just because the series is really dramatic. I feel it was written for girls. I don't know why. That said, this is Dan the T-Shirt Guy saying, this is the only show at Lemon Sand and Limes, lest I forget. And if you like what you see in here, punch that like button in the face because it lets YouTube know that I'm doing good and it lets me know that I'm doing good and I get the warm, fuzzy feelings and then I make better videos because I feel your love because all we need is love. Love. Love is all we need. Yeah. Um... And if you're finding this channel because of this video, uh, click that subscribe button because I could always use more YouTube friends like you. And welcome to my living room. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye!